Hello, my name is Jillian Hyshaw. I'm an agricultural attorney and founder and director of FARMS. FARMS stands for Family Agriculture Resource Management Services. My grandfather was the inspiration behind finding farms because his experience with our family land loss. And because of that, I saw farmers struggle. For the past 10 plus years, I've been in ag and environmental law and policy. I work day to day on writing grants, um, fundraising ideas. Also, um, if the farmer has legal concerns, then I'll find a lawyer uh, to refer the case to. So um, being a minority, double times, I'm African American, and then also being a woman, you know, um, she understands um, the struggles. But what I really admire about Jillian is that she gathers money to purchase food from farmers, because this is not a billion dollar industry, to give to their local pantry, you know? And I mean, that in itself just um, speaks volume. You know, if I wasn't sweating, I'd probably be crying. In 2013, um, I started the Farms to Food Bank program, and basically um, Harvest Hope Food Bank was our first, first food bank partner. With the help of Jillian Hishaw, we can help support the one in four children that struggle with hunger. And over 300,000 people in our local 20 counties uh, struggle to have a meal a month. And by her providing the meals, it's a tremendous way to feed the local community. And we pay the farmers to grow produce or to sell us their produce to the food bank. And so the food bank was the donor. We donated all of the produce that we bought from the farmer to the food bank. And so over the past four years, we've donated over 18,000 pounds of produce to Harvest Hope specifically. Um, a lot of uh, food banks received canned goods for shelf life purposes, but um, some, not all, but some don't really procure produce as much as the canned goods. And so Part of the initiative with the food bank program was to make sure that we source only fresh produce um, into the food banks. So to basically kind of supplement the canned goods. And so we definitely try to focus on procuring the produce and making sure that it's not only going to the food banks, but it's also going directly to child care centers, specifically in rural areas.